it's kind of like measuring the size of a black hole. But we looked at unrecorded fl outflows from uh, developing countries. We looked at uh, data that the IMF and the Bank for International Settlements has on cross-border deposits. And we also looked at the uh, assessments that the private banking industry does. This, do this business is dominated by about 50 global banks. Uh, many of them got bailout money in the last five years. But they collectively uh, own, uh, just, just among those banks alone, uh, more than $12 trillion of uh, funny money that's evading tax. OK, so, so as you say, evading tax, I mean, this money could really turn things around, couldn't it, for the, for the global economy? Let's just bring it back to Europe, if we may, and, and Britain in particular. How much, is, how much is going offshore from Britain, which legitimately could be used perhaps to, uh, by the tax authorities? You know, oddly enough, it's easier to tell you to tell you how much is going out of countries like Brazil or Mexico than it is Britain. Uh, the authorities uh, that have access to the data don't don't release it on that level. So I I can get data from the IMF and the World Bank on developing countries on a, but it's very hard to tell how much is going out of Britain. But uh, we do know that collectively the total is at least twenty one trillion dollars, which is about uh, you know maybe. Uh, 13 to 14 trillion pounds. It's, it's an enormous sum. It's sitting there. The good news is it's there. Maybe we can figure out a way to tax it or bring it home. So, well, let's explore that. How do you do that? I mean, is that a question of getting all the banks to agree to sign up to something to prevent this? Because, of course, it's, it's perfectly legal, isn't it? A lot of it in terms of tax avoidance schemes and things. Well, you know, as Dennis Healy once said, the difference between tax avoidance and tax evasion is a prison wall. Uh, the, you know, the industry pays a lot of money to lobbyists to write tax codes so that you practically need a judge in the room to figure out, you know, whether you're obeying the law. So I think it comes down to this, that ordinary people tax small business that can't afford these schemes, these this kind of chicanery that don't have the representation in, uh, you know, the halls of uh, parliament. Uh, are, uh, are having a hard time paying the bills. And uh, uh, this is costing the Treasury an enormous uh, amount every year. I think the, the non-DOM uh, issue in London is, is well known as an example of that. It doesn't seem to make sense for a lot of the taxpayers. But you end up having the tax base for essential services like uh, schools and hospitals and police and fire just have to be paid. And they end up being paid by people who are unable to avoid tax. They pay it through, through sales tax. And that's, we've seen that all over the world, this phenomenon of richest people in the world being able to hide their money offshore and uh, avoid uh, income taxes while everybody else is, uh, is having to pay the bills. Okay, so briefly, I mean, what are you saying? The only, the only recourse is to try and appeal to their, to their better judgment, to appeal to their morality? No, it's not a matter of uh, morality. I mean, I think the time has passed for that. We need tougher laws that crack down on what I call pirate banking. That's the business these people have created of, uh, you know, servicing uh, this, uh, providing these services across all the havens in the world. Uh, it's not only banks, but also lawyers and uh, accountants who specialize in sheltering funny money. Uh, secondly, we need to, uh, to have uh, things like automatic information exchange among tax authorities so that they can figure out who's evading. And I think, thirdly, we could really think about, seriously, about getting uh, developed countries together and agree on what we did with, you know, the airline uh, ticket uh, tax. And let's just have a, a simple minimum tax on all the assets that are sitting there from all kinds of shady sources uh, sitting there in banks. Maybe a 0.5% tax would be enough to raise $100 billion a year. And, uh, you know, it would require collective action. But... You know, there's no simple magic bullet that doesn't require uh, collective action. And right now, we're in a kind of uh, a dueling situation where different countries are competing uh, to, uh, to cut taxes. It's just not working.